In this video, I'm going to do a couple examples using the constructions that we know so far, which is uh, copying segments, copying angles, and bisecting segments and, and angles. So if I take this example of having an angle F and angle G, I want to construct an angle that has the measure of F plus G. So in order to do that, first I'm going to copy angle F. So I'm going to draw my ray, and then I'm going to use my compass and draw an arc. I'm going to put the point of my compass on F, and I'm going to draw an arc. Now I know that I'm also going to be eventually copying angle G as well, so I might as well draw all of my arcs at once. So I'm going to draw the arc on angle F, angle G, and then also on my copy here. Okay. So now I need to copy angle F. So I'm going to take my compass. I'm going to put the point where it intersects the lower ray. I need to adjust the width of my compass. So I measure that opening and I'm going to mark it off just a little bit. Then I'm going to pick it up, pick up my compass, put it over here and mark off an arc again. I've gone ahead and used a, a red dotted line to draw the other ray and the, so that the angle that I have drawn so far matches the size of angle F. But because I'm looking for an angle that has the measure of F plus G, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the opening of angle G and put that onto the dotted red line. I've got the compass opened to the right measurement. I'm going to pick up the compass and now I'm going to put it right here and see where it intersects that arc. Then all I have to do is draw my final ray. And this ray makes the angle that I'm interested in. So what we did is we measured angle F and marked it off here. Then we took angle G and marked it off here. The dotted red line is helpful for us to see the two angles being added together, but it's not actually necessary for the construction. What is really important are the two arcs that you made that show the size of angle F and the size of angle G. Okay, now let's look at another example. This is construction number seven on the construction worksheet for section 4.6. Given angle H, construct a triangle with an angle the measure of one half of H and adjacent sides that measure AB and CD. The first thing we need to do is bisect angle H so that I can get an angle that's half the measure of H. So now I'm going to take my compass. I'm going to put the point on the vertex H. I'm going to mark off an arc here and I'm going to mark off an arc on the other ray. Then I'm going to pick up my compass. I'm going to put it at the point of intersection and I'm going to draw an arc in the interior from both points of intersection here and over here. Okay, so after I've done that, now I just need to draw my line segment or my ray to give me the bisector. Okay, so now I have this angle right here that's half the measure of angle H. So that's going to be the measure, that's the angle I'm going to use for my triangle. So now what I need to do is take my compass, bring it down here, and I need to copy segment CD onto one of those rays. So I'm going to lock that in. Okay, that's the length for CD. I'm going to pick it up over here, put it on H, and I'm going to copy CD over onto my drawing. So this point would be like my C prime, and this point would be my D prime. So this side right here has the length of CD. Okay, now I'm going to take my compass and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy 
AB. Lock that in, mark it off, pick it up. I'm going to put it on H again because that's one of the vertices of my actual triangle. And so now I'm going to mark it off right here. That would be like saying this is point A prime and this is point B prime. And this segment right here has the length of AB. So to finish my triangle, all I have to do is join B prime to D prime. And what I have in red there is a triangle that uses this angle here, which is half of angle H, this side, which is the length of AB, and this side, which is the length of CD.